working with Airtable's REST API. Airtable is a very popular and easy to use cloud database. It is basically an online spreadsheet on the web that provides tons of integrations with other services. Being able to pull data from Airtable spreadsheet can enhance your project dramatically. Here I created a profile and a workspace with one base called Pricelist. Within the Pricelist base I created one table called Pricelist NOV 2021. I am not going to explain the Airtable here. There are many other tutorials online that can get you started with Airtable. At this point, I will focus on the table and its data. At the account overview, I can see the API key I need to connect to the data. Simply click in the field and copy the API key. Always keep API keys secret. Next, I go to the API documentation. At the REST API view, click the priceless base and the documentation opens. Now click on authentication. It is here where you will find the URL and how to use the API key. I now click on the price list and select list records. At the example response, we see that Airtable creates an ID field automatically for us to identify records. This ID field is required for all view, edit and delete operations. I now open PHP Runner and create a new project. At the data source screen, click on Create REST view. Click the API key button. I give the connection a name and call it Airtable. Paste the URL from the API documentation. From the authentication screen, the documentation instructs to use Bearer with the API key. Back at the project, be sure to include Bearer together with the key. The HTTP header name must be Authorization. Click OK. I now rename the view to Pricelist. The first operation is List and is used to create the listing page. The HTTP method is get and the resource is the table name within the base. Please note the final URI. Click Run Request. In the response window, select the fields by clicking on the plus sign next to the field name. I want the entire record so I select all my fields. Note the selected fields move to the field section. As already mentioned, Airtable creates an ID field for us, so it's essential to select the ID field as well. I now copy the ID value as I will need it in the next step. The next operation is single and is used to create view and edit pages. Activate single by clicking the tick box. The HTTP method is also get and the resource is the table name together with a variable pointing to the ID field Airtable created for us. Very important, you also need to run the request here from the single request. A pop-up asks for the ID and I use the ID value I copied a few moments ago at the list operation. I know it seems like I already selected the fields, but you need to click the plus sign next to the fields for a single operation too. The next operation is delete. Check the tick box to enable the delete operation. The resource is the table name and the method 
ist der Lied. For insert, we will have to do some coding. Set the HTTP method to post and the resource to the table name. Click the Generate PHP Code button. Change the code as follows. Be sure to change the field names to match your table fields. I left a link in the description to a blog post where you can copy the code I used over here. The same is true for an update. We will have to do some coding. Change the HTTP request to patch and the resource to the table name together with the variable pointing to the ID field Airtable created. Click the Generate PHP Code button, apply the code again and change the field names to match your table fields. Click Next. Select the ID field to be the key field and select List, Edit, Add, Delete and View pages. At the Choose Field screen, I removed the ID field from all pages. The Insert and Update custom code is also to be found at the event screen. And that is it. Let's see how it works. Here is the listing page showing four records. I add another record. We now have five records. As expected, the new record is also to be found on Airtable. I now edit product ID 2. Change the stock to 120. And the value has changed. I now view a record and finally, will delete product 5.